In this video, we'll be looking at the process for importing an electronic referral that you have received, usually as a PDF or Word document, from a commissioner. In most cases, it will be possible for a new service user record to be created automatically, saving you the job of entering all of the information by hand. Before you can begin importing electronic referrals from a new source, ReallyCare's development team will need to add an item to our library of supported referral formats. We'll ask you to provide us with some recent examples of referral documents that you have received from the relevant commissioner to help us do this. Once the new module is ready, you will need to add it to the list of referral formats used by your organisation, which you will find at the top of the Care Plans tab here. Organisations who have contracts with more than one commissioner will probably need to add more than one referral format to this list. Importing a new electronic referral is then as simple as selecting Electronic Referral from the New menu and choosing the relevant file. Usually, a new service user record will be created using the details found in the selected file. If your organisation has an existing service user matching these details, that record will be updated instead. You will receive an email once the import is complete. Contained in that email will be any warning messages generated during the import together with a link to the service user record. The new or updated service user record will contain all of the details from the referral that have a corresponding field within PLAT. Of course, this will include demographic information for the service user and often for their next of kin and emergency contacts too. In some cases, we'll be able to import information relevant to the service user's contract, such as their start date. In many cases, there will be information in the referral document that does not have a natural home within the service user's record in PLAT. To help ensure that potentially important information is not overlooked, all of the data that is successfully extracted from the referral document will be available from the Care Plan tab of the service user page. Here, you will see an item for each referral imported for this service user, with the date when the import was performed and a link to the referral document. To the right of the page, you will see three numbers. The first of these indicates how many pieces of information that were extracted from the referral have been used to populate or update the service user record. We call these linked fields, and in most cases, they will not require any further attention. The question mark indicates how many pieces of information were found in the referral that do not have a natural home within PLAT. Though the data has been successfully extracted, it has not been used to populate or update the service user record. You are encouraged to review this information by clicking here. When reviewing a referral, you will see all of the fields that were successfully imported. To the left of the field label, you'll see an icon indicating whether that field has been used to populate the service user record. In other words, it is a linked field or not. For linked fields, the data that was imported will not be shown, though this data can be revealed where necessary by clicking on the field label. Initially, all unlinked fields will be marked as unreviewed. This is the data that you are strongly encouraged to review now. Perhaps you will want to copy some or all of the unlinked information to the clipboard. So this can be pasted into another application or elsewhere in Platt. To copy the whole field value, click on the clipboard icon alongside the field label. Otherwise, you can select whatever part of the text you need and choose copy from your browser's context menu. Once you have reviewed the data for a particular field, mark it as reviewed by clicking here. The icon alongside the field name will change to a tick. And at the top of the page, one will be added to the reviewed field count. In some cases, particular fields from an electronic referral may never need to be reviewed. In this example, the service user's age has been imported, but this is redundant given that their date of birth is also available. To ignore age in this and all future referrals from this commissioner, click on the drop-down alongside the Reviewed button and then choose the Ignore option. The next time a referral is imported from this source, age will not appear here, thus allowing your staff to focus on the fields that really might contain important information. In the unlikely event that you need to reverse the decision to ignore a particular field, you can click on the drop-down alongside the Ignored Fields icon at the top of the page. Here, all of the currently ignored fields will be listed, and clicking on any of these will return them to the list of fields available to review below. Once you have reviewed or ignored all of the unlinked data from the referral, click on the Save button at the bottom of the page. As an alternative to clicking on the Reviewed button for individual fields as you scroll through the referral contents, you can instead simply select the Review All and Save option once your review of the information is complete. Upon returning to the Referrals tab on the Service User page, you should now see a zero below the question mark, indicating that the referral has been fully reviewed. 
Before we wrap up, I'd like to mention that in some cases, data from a referral may not be used to populate a service user record, but may instead be used to populate sections of their care plan. We'll look at how this works in a future video, but suffice to say for now that fields that are unlinked when you first import an electronic referral may become linked once you have created an initial care plan for the new service user. If you are going to be using Platt's care planning module, your workflow for importing an electronic referral is therefore likely to have three steps. First, you import the referral. Then, you create an initial care plan for the new service user. And finally, you review the referral data that remains unlinked after performing these first two steps.